So the new Wells Fargo CEO uh, will be Charlie Scharf, who of course is currently the chairman and CEO of Bank of New York uh, Mellon. This uh, breaking just moments ago, he will be CEO and president. He'll be a member of the board at Wells Fargo, but Betsy Duke will of course remain as uh, chair lady. Those two roles were separated a while ago. This will be effective October 21st. <laughs> Uh, he has a very impressive track record, in, in, including a broad track record in the financial services industry. He was at Bank One, 2002 to 2004. He was at J.P. Morgan, of course, 2004 to 2012, where he had retail banking experience as uh, head of retail financial services. Then went to Visa, 2012 to 2016, and therefore clearly has payment space and technology experience, and then asset management experience and custody experience from uh, Bank of New York Mellon, 2016 to 19, uh, and. Seen as a, a high achiever, uh, always, of course, uh, seen a long time ago as a challenger to JP Morgan, at JP Morgan, a potential successor, sorry, rather than challenger to Jamie Dimon. Unsurprising, guys, here to see the share price jump significantly, 2.3%. He's a very credible appointment, particularly in light of the delays it's taken them to find this permanent successor. Uh, once it took more than three months, we crossed the six month line earlier this week since Tim Sloan stepped down. In that intermittent three months, people have started to ask the question, can they not attract someone of this caliber? And I think this will be seen as a win today by the analysts, uh, and it is in the pre-market by the share price. I mean, the, the huge issue has been that anybody who's taken this role has been a pinata when it comes to Congress, Absolutely. when it comes to any of these Democratic candidates running for president, because um, they just think um, they're going to get beat up. And that's been something that Warren Buffett, uh, the major shareholder, Berkshire Hathaway, the major shareholder in Wells Fargo, uh, has, has made the point that uh, he and Charlie Munger both said they didn't think it should necessarily be somebody with a lot of Wall Street experience because of the concerns that happens. Mm. However, you want somebody who understands banking and who knows how to do this. Right. Coming from Visa might be a very good thing, and then BNY Mellon, maybe not one uh, of the I, I've more always, incendiary places that you might be attracting attention. From. Whenever you broke those news of, of Warren Buffett's kind of view on that, I've always been a little bit surprised because one aspect that I think uh, has made it hard for this appointment is it had to get OCC approval. Right. And when there was talk of, uh, oh, let's go and get a, a Ruth Porat, for example, mm -hmm. uh, from a Google or, or more tech-savvy person, I think that was quite a hard leap of faith to get regulatory approval. Mm -hmm. The point uh, you raised, which is an important one in terms of the political pinata, one of the other issues, uh, according to uh, sources and reports, that's made it hard to find the right appointment over the last six months, has been the amount they'd have to pay to buy out options that high-profile oh. individuals have at other banks. As yeah, I and understand that would not go it, over well with the regulators no, either. No, which will not go over well. That's not in the release. We don't know the numbers for Charlie Sharp, but he will have built up significant amount of options, which Visa would have had to buy out from J.P. Morgan, the Bank of New York Mellon would have had to buy out from Visa, mm -hmm. uh, and they'll have to buy out from Bank of New York Mellon. So I'm sure it comes with quite a high price. Maybe he's been a bit more flexible because this is someone that is very driven, who wants to have a legacy, and he's taken as tough a job as there is. And if he can turn it around, he'll have that legacy. Maybe there's been some trade-off, but I'm sure it'll come out in some time that this is an expensive hire, which might attract some political attention. But given the trade-off, they've got a, a very credible man, so I'm sure they'll take, take that heat.